Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Here with my good friend, longtime friend Travis. You guys know us well, both of us. And uh, I'm gonna do kind of like an announcement video slash decoy unboxing. These decoys that we're gonna show you in this video, we're gonna show you uh, a few different kinds um, from the brand Final Approach. But I wanted to preface this video by just letting everybody know that we will be working with Rogers and Final Approach, partnering up with them. And I'm really excited to bring that to you because, I mean, in my opinion, I mean, how long have we been shopping at Rogers Sporting Goods? A long time and always had For a great years. experience with all their products and um, really like their customer service. They do a great job with that. Um, fr very friendly on the phone. Um, every time I've had an issue, they've responded really fast like that. and got back to me um, if I left a message and just have been great customer service. And pretty much if I order anything that has to do with waterfowl, that's who I end up ordering it through as, as Rogers. And the fact that they've been around for a long time. I mean, longer than the online store has been there, obviously. Um, like Charles said, great customer service. And they're kind of just the big hub of waterfowl shopping. One of the few that there is the big, big names out there. So we were approached by them. I was, needless to say, I was pretty much speechless because I, I took that as a great compliment for a company like that to reach out to us and got to meet uh, Stevie Rogers and Chandler Smith. And of course, you guys know, uh, if you don't know, you will now <laughs> that Josh Peck from Outdoor Limits works with them as well. So anyways, it was a great privilege and honor. And I don't want to make this long and drawn out, but I just want to say that we do work at the work with them but the biggest thing i want to again say that always matters to me from the beginning of this channel when we first started getting anything that any company or anyone that worked with us and that is i promise i will always give you my genuine opinion i'm not going to sugarcoat nothing you buy it good for you if you don't want to buy it i mean you guys know i wear sick waiters and people always kind of a lot of people give a hard time about that and then other people don't it's i'm not trying to make you buy anything i'm just giving you my honest opinion so same with this even though we work with Rogers Sporting Goods and Final Approach, I will give, I promise to always give my unbiased opinion. That being said, we did a, a meeting uh, with Rogers Sporting Goods on the, um, what do you call it when you do it on your computer? Uh, like a Zoom? Like a Zoom meeting. We did yeah. a Zoom meeting and I hadn't seen really anything in person, so I didn't really know. I hadn't made any decisions. We didn't agree on anything. Well, I ended up working back east. If you follow us on Instagram or Facebook, you would see I kind of was traveling around and I actually got to go to the actual factory. It's amazing, it's huge. It's like an Amazon warehouse in my opinion. But when I went there, they showed me all the decoys and I will tell you this, not all these decoys, these are, but not all the decoys that I'm gonna tell you about are on the website yet because they just haven't got here yet. But when I seen them all in person, and I'm talking from every single decoy that they're, they came out with brand new, I was honestly blown away. I mean, I called you, got you right afterwards, and was like, "Dude, these are legit." Honestly, I, that that sold me right then and there. And so I was like, "Hey, I want to work with you guys. Like, it's incredible, and I appreciate that you even would think about to work with us." So yeah, I'm excited to see them. I haven't yeah. seen. Yeah. So let's get to the unboxing. Sorry, to get the little uh, the little emotional. Uh, honey, well, Titus, it was like well, like Christmas and what are we in? In August, middle of August. So yeah, like Christmas in August. And yeah, August. so. Yeah. He hasn't seen them yet at all. He's seen some pictures, but he has not seen these decoys, what they look like. So we're gonna do unboxing. He's gonna cut them open. He's gonna, we're gonna zoom in on his face and see his expression now. <laughs> so let's do it and let's open a box up. Shoveler or widget first? Let's go with what we like the best, the shovelers. <laughs> we're in California. I thought you'd pick We're that. in California, man. So here they are. Here's this, the box. This should be the state bird. I know, it should be. It should be on the flag. This is new this year. Almost all of the FA stuff is EVA, which is like, you know, um, there's other brands out there that have got that soft pliable feel to it. So go ahead, I'll burn it up, man. See what you think. I've seen them already, so. When to, when to get the thoughts. And what's cool about this, it comes in a six pack of Drake's. Cause so I mean, really do I need- have a hen No hints. No hints. So it's straight Drake's. You get that color and that pop in your spread. Well, we all know what shovelers like to do. They like to get in the water and shh. It's been in So first impression, I like the, the color scheme. I think they did a really nice job on that. Size is, I say these sizes are like spot on for what it probably a shovel would right, be. About right on. Mm -hmm. They're not hard. That they're, they're, they're not, I wouldn't say they're like super soft, like some other decoys I've right. felt, but they're not that hard, 
Hard. Like, yeah, like that rigid. Hard plastic. No, huh? They got some flex to them. Mm -hmm. Looks like we got three, three positions here for uh, different attachment points, which is nice. This is an upright. Hit. And this, yeah, there's two yeah. head positions okay. on these. So you kind of got the dabbler yeah, no, feeder they, and you got the upright head. No, I think they look they look really nice. This is probably, this is the best looking, most, uh, like, what I say, authentic or realistic mm -hmm. uh, paint, paint job, paint scheme, and mm -hmm. uh, matching up that I've seen. It's not overly bright, but it's uh, what a nice, you know, plumed out Drake shoveler would look like. Uh, late late December, early January. Mm -hmm. So all their decoys have been carved by major top um, championship carvers. I like that, that the black's not like a shiny black. It's a nice mm -hmm. matte finish. And dude, look at if you really look and you scratch on these colors, like you can't really make it do anything. Yeah, and it's got. Because I mean, EBA. I don't know if birds really see this, but it's got nice feather detail. Be honest with you too, dude. If I if there's some other brands that I've had their shovelers. If you would grab two of them and you would just sit there and do this together like that quick, the brand the new out of the box, off. they'd be scratching and the paint would be coming yeah. off. No, they did a nice job because, I mean, the, the colors, you know what I'm saying, there's not like, they're solid colors. Like, they blended these colors on the side right here where the side pockets are. Mm -hmm. That that blends good. Um, and and I'm taking his opinion because he's actually a taxidermist too, a waterfall well, taxidermist. Well, I don't know so. about that. I mean, I, I mount birds, he is, but. trust me. So, you know, he pays attention to those details like he just said about the, the wing being in the pocket and all that stuff. So. Yeah, no, it, it shows like the side pocket. I mean, what do you do? You, I mean, I like be them. honest. No, I, I believe really, really, they're probably the best. These are the best looking shovelers that I've seen. Okay. To be honest with you. Now, mind you, I'm curious to see how this really works out because this does have three attachment points, and I really like that. Mm -hmm. And they're nice big holes because some decoys they make it's it so small. It's hard to get in there. You can't you get, can't get yeah, it in and out. Yeah, no, you, you I got my remember. knife and trying to like yeah. make the hole a little bit bigger. They made these plain these are big. Nice, or nice and big. Get yeah. in and out. I'm pressed. I, I like them a lot. And again, guys. You know, we we run with the joke. Everybody says, "Oh, we're spoony killers and all that stuff." That's it's kind of a joke that we run with. If you haven't been around long enough, but um, and we do shoot shovelers. Yeah. Um, but I don't target shovelers. Yeah. But if it's a nice, pretty to. Drake. Yeah. It's hard to resist temptation. You know. So to throw these in your spread, even if you have a spread of like, you know, a bunch of gabbles, a bunch of pintail, a bunch of green wings, it just brings good pop. The white sticks out. Yeah, so. no, I mean, I think that's going to really stand out nice, you know what I'm saying? Almost like a, a good bull sprig. Yeah. The white will show up. Oh, for sure. From a distance. There we go. Now the widgeon. Traps is... We're big time widgeon fanatics, so... Now, I will say this, and this might get edited out, but... I have a thing with widgeon decoys... Where I don't put them in my spread, because I have oh, this... Oh, that's right. I have this, like... I don't know what it is. So maybe these right I'm here. I'm not like that. These right here may may. <laughs> then maybe they'll be yeah, the ones. I I I shut up. Wait from widget decoys. Okay, this comes with four drakes, two hens. It's two drake whistlers, and then two drake I think feeders, and then two hen uprights. Well, I, we can show them. Yeah. So that's what it comes with right there, I guess. And let me see the carver trust real quick. It said right on here. It it's, yeah, it's right here. Uh, Tom Christie. So it says live feather detail provided by six-time world champion carver Tom Christie. Oh, gotcha. oh, okay. The same guy that did the shovelers did the. Okay. Same, the, same carver. Yeah. And I'll pull some more other other positions. That's the same one, I think. Say whatever you think. It's fine. So my first impression, looking at this bird, to me, it's it's a little dark on this one right here, just from what I've seen of, of real of live widgeons. Mm -hmm. This is a little dark. There's another company that that I that I've seen some, and I was looking at them, but they were orange. Yeah, they're not widgeon are not orange. I like the head a lot. This really stands out strong. I would just say that a little dark through here, but they look good. I mean, they got nice feather detail on them. You guys can see that. Great looking heads, really yeah. nice. Now see this right here, and you can see, I, to me I can tell a slight difference. Maybe, and it could just be the, the, the lot. This one looks a little bit Your lighter. Your going bad too though. I can't see up closely, <laughs> but, but you can tell this one right, and it, maybe it's just me. This To me this one looks a little bit lighter, and, and Tyus may already with me all day long. But you can see like on the back how they, on these feathers right here, how they trace the outline of them a little bit more. I like that. And this one's not as strong, but that's just, you know, is a bird gonna be looking at that? No, but It'll like be dead by the time. yeah, but like 
Titus said, I, I mean, I do mount birds, and so I'm always like looking at them. Just like, nitpicking. Oh, yeah, I'm a nitpicker, but um, I really like the uh, Whistler. This looks great. I like the the whole shape of it, the size. It's not too big, and it's not too small. It's, in my, it's in my opinion, it is a little larger. I feel like. Well, see, I think what makes it looks like that. And is, I'm talking about I, the, head the head and everything. The head is th this head is a good size head. It, no, it is. It's like a stud bird. But I really this this is a good looking bird. I love that right there. I like the the open mouth. I yeah, that, I do too. I think that's really sweet. You know? I don't know. Like again, decoys are for hunters. Like yeah, but, people, you can kill them over wood decoys that are <laughs> painted black. But the point is, but I like the art of stuff. It too. is not exactly. It is nice looking at your spend and say, man, I really like my decoys. You know I what mean, I mean? Yeah, I mean, I, I the like, birds do they care as much? Eh, I like not. taxidermy. I like wild, um, yeah. you know, wildfowl art. Um, I like looking at carvings. You know, it's amazing what these guys can do with with just you know wood and some tools. You know how they can carve. But I really, this is cool. I mean, this is something that I would like. Put it on the wall, almost. <laughs> for real, dude. I would. No, for real. Cool. It's I mean, honest, I knew you would like these, dude. No, that, when, that's, I, that's, when he handed me this, that's, that's after I like the that. that's final pretty. approach deal, and I was like, "Dude, those are bad to the bone." No, those I, are the, I, in my opinion, as as far as decoys go, like it's the lot. best I've seen out. I like that. That's in my opinion. That's I, just my opinion. Yeah, it looks nice. Room. It's like a decorative. I guess decoy. I should have showed you the last ones a little bit better. Let's see if that focuses on. And I do like the the you know you can see I can squeeze that thing. Yeah. So it's not rigid. Yeah. It's not gonna tear up. The paint's gonna stick on really nice. Yeah. So, yeah. And that's. I like there's the two hand. whistlers. There's two feeders. I mean, nobody likes hands, right? But right. This, this is a and good, they look good. This is a good looking hand. Yeah. Yeah. And and they did make it a little bit smaller than the Drake. Yeah. No compliments to Drake nicely. Mm -hmm. I love this no, one, dude. No, that. These are good looking. <laughs> I love widgets. I mean, we love. And I'm, I'm excited to hunt over these. Yeah. I want to see how they work out. You know. Like yeah. I said, I have a phobia of, of widgeon decoys. I forgot that. I forgot yeah. about that. No, I have a phobia. Yeah. And, and check this out. These all, these move right here, and it's not like rigid, so you're not... A lot of times you get these cracking along here. I don't mm -hmm. think these are really going to do that because this, this flex is really nice. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That EVA, dude, it's worth that. Yeah. I mean, there is other like, companies like, that make This is going to get hit, you know what I'm saying, like a yeah. month or whatever. And over time, you know, that's that's a lot of times where you get cracking in your, in your decoys is right here along the kill yeah. and leaking. And, you know, I don't think that... This looks like it's a really... A nice kill. I feel as though these are, can stand their own with the top quality decoys on the market. I don't have to give it five years of time. You know, I can I can know right now it's already EVA, so I know it's going to hold up. I mean, paint does what paint does over time, yeah. but in all reality. Does it seem like our water is really harsh here? I'm, it must be. It does seem like it. I don't know. I think Probably. our water is harsh. Keep a close eye. Uh, there will be another video the week after this one and we'll go over um some other decoys that i'm really excited to show you we might have two more videos because there's a lot more different um for final approach there's a lot more different birds to show it's not just like one more it's a couple more so really yeah so stay tuned for that really excited to show you also the rigging system and all that i'm telling you guys i'm so excited for this year and to put this stuff to work because it's super good quality i was very very impressed like i said i wouldn't have just jumped on anything when i'm on the camera talking to you guys i want to say whatever i'm saying i want it to be the truth i don't want to just lie because someone gave me something i won't do yeah. that so that's no, that's they, my I, promise I really to you guys. Like them. thanks for watching guys go check them out on their site uh you can go to fabrand.com or you can get these also on rogerssportinggoods.com so Go check it out if you guys need some new uh, widget or some shovelas for the season. Go check them out. We'll see you guys on the next one.